Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of Roguelite Roulette. For those of you that didn't see the announcement on my channel a few days ago, Roguelite Roulette is going to be a new series on my channel that releases every Friday, Saturday and Sunday where we play different roguelite games. It's just going to give this channel a whole new sense of variety and allow me to play some new games that you guys have been requesting. The way it's going to work basically is I'll play three games. This time around it's going to be Dungreed, Wizard of Legend and the new Dead Cells DLC and then in a few weeks time a few weekends go by we'll take a look evaluate see which series people are liking and then one of those will trade out for maybe another game and basically as new games release as new roguelikes come out and new games people want me to play or even revisit say like slay the spire then we can change up some of the games and change up the rotation it does mean that you'll be getting episodes of these games less often than my normal series but it at least gives a little bit of extra variety to the channel and here we are with Dungreed, which has been a highly requested game Everyone's been watching Dangerously Funny play it, including myself. I've watched quite a lot of him play it. And it looks like a really good game. Everyone's been wanting me to play it. So let's go for it. Start in slot one. And here we are. Let's see what the intro is all about then. Let's give it a little watch, shall we? Okay, seems we've got like a little city here. As I said, I've watched Dangerously Funny play this game a decent amount, so I understand the game's premise and, and kind of some of the flaws and what to expect, but I haven't really played it too much for myself. I basically just got in and got used to the controls, and that was about it. Uh, so it's going to be a whole new experience for me, and I hope you guys are excited for this series, as excited as I am at least. So I am going to be playing keyboard and mouse. I tried it on controller. It seems really hard to play on controller, so keyboard and mouse it is for me. Let's make our way along. And we've been eating up <laughs> straight away down into the dungeon. Away we go. Voice from afar away. What is this sound of an adventurer sent from the kingdom entering the dungeon to investigate the ruined town? Adventurer, come this way. Jump. Jump. <laughs> Jump. I like that. <laughs> it's just the stretched jump. I completely forgot about that. So we can dash once, dash twice. And then we can dash up as well. It's, I really like the unique controls of this game. Having the ability to dash in all directions seems really good. We've got a first bit of combat here. A sword, yeah. It seems a lot easier to do combat with a mouse and keyboard than it does with a controller. I don't know how many of you play on controller, but for me it's been a lot easier. So then we can take that. Open our inventory and swap. I think we can swap the slots around. So we can take that out of there, put that there. Yeah. Okay. So now we've got a big old sword, and it's actually got an ability as well. So if we go into our inventory, power will increase for 15 seconds. Cool. And then we can press tab to show our map. This will let us teleport around, which is really nice. Oh, and this thing seems really good. So we can press Q there, and as you can see, we're dealing a whole hell of a lot more damage now. Very, very nice. Did it give us something to say here? Swap weapon. What button is that? What e what even button is that? I can do this to swap weapon. Or I can scroll. Whatever that button is, I'm not really sure. We can show our character stats with C. We can have a look at our strength, our defense, our critical chance. I know from Dangerously Funny, defense and critical chance, you want to be getting those as high as you can, along with toughness and block. So we'll be trying to... Uh, Lift those up as we go. Voice nearby. Come help. I'll save you. Hello, sir. Yulfork. Thank you for saving me, adventurer. Who has been sent by the kingdom to investigate the town that is now in ruins. I am the town's carpenter, Yulford. Yulford? Yes, Yulford. How do I know that you've been sent from the kingdom? We all have our ways. Hee <laughs> hee. Tee hee. First, let's go back to town. Okay, we go back up to town. And I believe this is the guy that lets us craft different buildings. Adventure success. Nine monsters killed. Very nice. So yeah, this is the guy that lets us craft buildings and things. Phew, what a relief. Hmm. You look confused as to how you got back to town. This necklace I'm wearing is connected to the town's altar. A special spell that can bring the user back to the altar. Anyways, the town is in ruins. What should I do? 
Hey, adventure. By the way, I apologize for my terrible reading. I am English inept, even though it's my first language. Just whatever. <laughs> hey, adventurer. I have something to ask of you. There were many aside... What? They were many aside from me that were swallowed by the dungeon. Could you find them? Once it is possible, I will get ready to rebuild the town. Can you do it? No. <laughs> just, just leave. A dear adventurer, so full of chivalry. Thanks a million. I wish you luck from here on. I'll just give you this necklace. Okay, so... By the way, I think that strange dungeon took your weapons. I've got a different way. My grandfather was the best blacksmith in town. Let's see, it should be right around here. Found it. I was wondering where I'd be able to use this. But the time has finally come. Oh, it's the chest of swords. The chest of swords. There's so many swords. <laughs> this is my grandfather, the masterpiece. The short sword. Use it as you will. Ha 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 So many of them. Oh my god. Okay, so... We're ready to go down. So it seems that as we go through, um, I, I know this from Dangerously Funny's video, but also kind of from what he said there. We'll go down and we'll find various NPCs along the way that are going to help us to improve the town, start with new items, unlock new items, upgrade our character, all sorts of things like that. Also, the music in this game is absolutely banging. So these enemies seem really easy off the bat. Like I said, I played around a little bit and just got used to the controls. Oh, we've got spikes underneath us there. Did not see those. I find that the spikes in this game are really hard to see. She's going to hit us. Okay, good. Oh, God. We got hit by quite for quite a bit of damage there. So, I do have to say... Um, oh, it looks like I can place something on it. Mm, okay. Um, I, I do have to say, I'm probably going to shit the bed quite a lot on my first few playthroughs here. Hello, Traveller. My name is Harika. I am the owner of the inn. I take responsibility in making sure your dungeon experience is great. I serve food to travelers who come here. I cook food with extraordinary ingredients. Please come often. Food shop. You can pay for food at inns which are located within the dungeon. You can only eat one type of food per floor. Stats from food vary depending on the floor you're in. Be uh, careful not to reach maximum saturation because you won't be able to eat more. Saturation levels are reduced by moving to different rooms. Okay, so it seems that we can get a piece of food for free here, maybe, as an example. No, <laughs> we can't. We cannot. So we don't even have any money right now, so we can't get any food from her. But it's going to be useful to know that she exists for later on. So it seems that certain enemies are much, much more troublesome than others. Like the archers are a lot more difficult to deal with than any other enemy because they can obviously shoot you from anywhere. Uh, luckily, the minimap is pretty good at telling me where I need to go. Okay, it seems that we've got a little bit of a puzzle room here. Oh my god, what's this big boy? I'm going to try and take out all the archers first. That seems like the best call of action. Oh no, 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 no. Ah, ah. <laughs> spikes down there. How am I meant to kill this guy now? There's spikes down there, dude. Come on, over here. Okay, I can get him from here. But he can also get me, so be careful. Okay, we got him. I want my gold. Uh, oh my god, I've taken so much damage. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Even being a person that's pretty decent at roguelikes in general, coming into a new game with new controls and new ideas is always tough. Especially when you don't, like, know how to beat the enemies. When it's new enemies, it really fucks you over. Like, these, these things are really tough to beat. They can hit you through walls, and if they hit you, they're like, I've noticed in this game as well, you can, there's no iframes after being damaged, so you can be hit multiple times, like, in one go. Seems we can get this guy pretty easily, though. There we go. And they, they seem to drop a ton of money as well. These guys seem a bit like a bit of a pain as well, actually. So, get back. Okay, our dodge does do some damage. I just noticed that. Four damage on our dodge there. Uh, which is actually pretty useful. I'm, I'm assuming there's some pretty cool dodge builds we can get going on then, maybe. Maybe we can up that damage with certain items. Okay, I'm going to stay out the way of Harry yet again. Okay, we got... Oh my god, I got hit by so many of those notes then. Oh my god, there's spikes everywhere. What the heck? There's spikes everywhere. Okay, we got a chest down here. Oh no, I almost landed on those spikes. Oh, we got platinum bullion. Okay, um, if we have a look there, 
might be worth a lot of money if sold to a market. Okay, so it doesn't actually do anything for our player. It's just if we find that big old derpy guy, we can maybe sell to him. Right, I'll let you shoot first. Oh my god. I find letting, like, knowing when your uh, dash is recharged really difficult as well. I'm really hoping I don't die here, because I really want to go and sell that platinum bullion. That seems like it'd be super useful to do. Leave me alone. Ah, you damn doggy. Okay, this is bad. Oh, I'm screwed. He didn't give us any money. You thieving bastard. We can use Tab to have a look at our map. We, we have a chest in here, actually, that I apparently missed. So maybe we'll go back and see what that's about. Okay, we got ourselves Gladius. So we can open up our inventory and have a look. Okay, let's um let's replace them and go with Gladius here. Gladius is a bit higher damage on average, um, better attack speed, and it has a power. The power is let's have a little look see, shall we? Um power's increased for 15 seconds. Okay, this might be the one that we got in the tutorial, but it seems that this isn't a two-hander. Oh my god, I'm so dead. I am so dead in this room. Damn it. No. We have been defeated. I was really hoping to sell that platinum bullion. Oh my god. We leveled up a few times there. Okay. Okay. I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting the hang of it. I like the way we spawn and just lay on the floor. What? What's going on here? I saw you guys go to gym. Why are you here? I don't know what to say. I, don't, I didn't think you were like that. You think <laughs> we have time for naps? Um, I mean... You lost consciousness and woke up here. I don't need your excuses. We don't know what may have happened to the townsfolk while you took your nap. Go save the people. <laughs> He's very annoyed. I'm sorry. Okay, we can use tab to move between people quickly. So can we do anything with this guy yet? Yeah, because we have 1,600 gold. Oh, it's you. Build. There are no buildings. Okay, fair enough. Back in we go. Back in we go. So yeah, I kind of shit the bed on that first run there. That's going to happen though. Especially when we're finding less weapons and stuff. We, we, we went a really long time without finding any weapons there. And also, I took some really bad damage too. That doesn't help. Do it. Haha. -ha. Oh, we yeah, managed to get out of the way of that guy. I don't know. No, I was going to say, it, it looked like the dungeon started off the exact same there, but it didn't. Okay, how do I dodge that? How do I dodge that? Oh my god, that's brutal. Look how much damage that did. What the heck? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit confused on how to get out of the way of that thing. Does dodging give us iframes? I don't think it does, does it? Nope, it does not. <laughs> Tested that theory. It does not. Okay, we got ourselves a silver ring. There is item rarity in this so far. I've only seen white items. But that is 5 max HP, 3 power, and 4 movement speed. That seems pretty useful. I'm pretty happy about that. The dogs seem really, really aggressive. Luckily, it seems like jumping is like way more beneficial than dashing for the most part. Okay, see, it seems we get a brief, brief, brief amount of iframes after we get hit, but really not many at all. At first, I didn't think we got any, but it seems like we get a tiny little bit. So we can use that and travel back down to here. This is going to be a way shorter run than that previous one, because I'm already super low HP here. I'm not exactly sure how much money we lost last time. Oh my god, there's so many enemies. Okay, I got a lot of gold from that. Oh, and I got hit by an arrow. Take out the annoying enemies, then get to her. Oh no! She hit me with every single one of them! I'm on one HP! Give me healing, please! Let me get all this money. Can't be leaving money about. Oh god damn. That was one hefty hit right there. 
I took some bad damage. Hey, it's this guy. Croc. Me, merchant, croc. Many so precious. Come, come, come. Mirror of the mummy. Okay. How much does this sell for? It's tempting to sell that just because I know I'm going to die. I'm going to do it. I'm going to sell it just because I know I'm going to die. I might as well get something out of it. Like, I'm on one HP. There is there is nothing that could do to help me. Oh, we got Salamander's Eye. Very nice. I have to say, I don't like the way you switch things around. Unless this button just does it. I don't know. I was just putting that into my main slot. Okay, so this is a, a ranged weapon with ammo, by the looks of things. Or has it just got a reload? Oh, it's just got a, it's got infinite ammo. It's just got a reload. Um, much higher damage, and we got max HP. This could be pretty damn useful. This is the sort of stuff we've been looking for. Oh my god, that's so good. We're killing it. Okay, this is, this is way better. Yeah, this is way better. Right. What we got up here? Okay, we almost got that guy straight away there, but not quite. Okay, there's lots and lots of bats here. Luckily, we managed to take most of them out. If I can get the big guy, that'd be nice. There you go, got him. This is insanely good. Wow, it just crit for 44 damage. Okay, that seems like the boss room. Don't want to go in there yet. I think 1 HP. It's likely we're going to die to the boss. I have seen that boss a few times. Oh, we found someone. Hello. You are an adventurer? When I was training to be a knight, I have met many adventurers like you. That necklace, well, that's one way of doing it. I'll see you back in town. Okay, nice. We saved someone. I think she's the person that lets us upgrade our skills. Oh, what's this? Ah, it's a succubus. I've not seen one of them before. What does it do? Oh, we got some armor. Nice armor. Two evasion, five defense. Okay, that's great, but could you please give me some healing? Okay, we found the altar again. I don't think we can do anything with the altar for a little while. I think that's something we unlock later on. Oh, we can jump down. Did not know that. I still don't really get, in a small area, how the hell you dodge that thing. Okay, let me reload. Before these arrow-wielding pricks get me. I wasn't even hitting him there. But look at this, it's great damage. Wow. This salamander's eye is amazing. We've been on one HP for so long. Right, we can make our way back through though now. Let's see where we can teleport to. Um, we've got an area down there. Let's go up here, then drop down. I think this is our last path we need to take. Okay, we've got to be careful because there is spikes there, look. That will kill us in one hit. He can he can he can run on spikes. He can run on spikes. Okay. Yeah, it seems that it seems that we've we've been everywhere we can go now, I think. Oh god, we have to attempt the boss on one HP. So Oh, no, no, we're, miss we're missing the shop, aren't we? The, the food shop. I probably won't buy anything because it just doesn't seem like a worthwhile investment yet. Unless there's something like that full heals us, maybe. Is that a thing? Um, So that'd give us 8.1% healing. All of these are pretty expensive, though. So let's go with... Let's have a look. What's what's the cheapest here? Let's just go with the, the, three, the 390 one. Eat. Thank you. Okay, so that healed us up a little bit. Means we can probably survive one hit. <laughs> and I should have just used the teleporter, shouldn't I? There you go. Right. On to what I, what I think is the boss. The Lyle's Gate. This is the boss. Okay. Sir, I am not ready. I am not ready. I do not remember the ma vast majority of his, his attacks. I just remember that he has that there, and he does this thing where he, where he fires beams out of his hands. I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god. Right, we got up to level 5, 6, 7. Very nice. 
and we unlocked a new person, and that took a good amount of gold off us. We're left with 2,400, seems like a good amount. Now you can um, request Yulford to construct buildings. Nice. Okay, so let's go over to Yulford. Oh, it's you. Nice, we can get the training facility going for only a thousand. That's pretty cheap considering the money we've already got here, which is nice. Koblonvia. I don't know how to pronounce her name at all. You have built the training center. Thanks. If you want to train, you can always come to me. I will be in the western part of the town. Nice. Ooh, and we unlocked a lot of new items, including this. Ooh. Very nice. Anyone that watches Dangerously Funny knows how powerful that thing is. Right, let's speak to this woman then. Hey, hey. You're here, and you're ready to train? Of course. Okay, so we've got a lot of options here. Um, so, something I saw, Dangerously Funny, had, like, extra ones past this. Like, I don't know how he got to those, or if you just start with these ones and that's it. So, basically, what we want to be doing here is looking, looking for ones that are going to help us in the long run. So, we have seven points, and... Each of these has a five point thing and also with the stats. So at five points, we get extra, uh, we get eight damage when jumping around enemies, which would be good because we jump a lot. Um, we could get ability to double jump and dashes plus one charge, receive a magic shield, um, plus defense, plus attack move speed, critical chance and evasion, items and shops are 30% cheaper. Audio with max HP and earn 20% extra gold. I'm gonna go with the gold for now. Because 20% extra gold is just going to let us get things be uh, like earlier. And also the 10 max HP is nothing to snuff at. So I think next we'll go for... Um, we'll go for Mystic next. Put two points in that. Plus one critical chance, plus one evasion. That seems really useful. So now we can head our way back in. And I think we'll do one more attempt at the dungeon before we end this episode off. I want this to be more of an introduction episode. It doesn't have to be a super long one. But in tomorrow's episode, you guys will see um, either Dead Cells or, um, or Wizards of Legend. I haven't decided which one I'm playing yet. But one of those two you'll be seeing. And we'll be starting that game as well. Aha, you guys are terrible. I really want the Salamander's eye back. Right. Let her fire. Good. That still hit me. You're kidding me. Oh, God. These guys are... A bit feisty. Feisty one, you are. Okay, we got a lot of gold out of that room, though. And we got a chest as well that could reward us with something nice. We got a sandbag. Hmm. Dash damage. Bit of extra dash damage is nothing to snuff at, but it's also not great for an accessory. We've got what seems to be a curse chest here. Of course. HP reduction. Um, and we got uh, an item. Okay. <laughs> so we got a HP reduction that led into a 20% max HP necklace. So I think in total we gained HP. Okay, ah, okay, it didn't it didn't reduce our max HP, it just reduced our total HP. So we went from like 80 something to 50. So we that was technically bad, but if we managed to get the healing back, that's actually really useful. Mila, hello, I'm Mila. I used to run the store in the nearby town. You're an adventurer. Have you been stuck into the, uh, sucked into this place? I see, thank you for helping me. Nice, we saved another person. Another one. Okay. Oh, this is a busy, busy room. Okay, I do not... Oh my god, I dashed by accident. I'm not a big fan of where these guys are locating themselves right now. Oh, we got a new weapon. That's nice. Um, I think we can just switch to that now. Okay, that seems kind of useful. Kind of short range, but it'll do. We're at very low health, which is kind of bad. Oh, I like this. It's just like, you can hold it down and it constantly hits anything in the area. If it crits, that seems really useful. And we do have increased crit chance now because of our level ups. That seems really, really good. It's very short range, but I, I quite like that. The, the ability to just hold down and constantly hit is really nice. Right, what food do you got for us now, missus? Um, she does have beer. After swapping weapons, powers increased by 50 for 10 seconds. Pretty good, that's expensive though. Um, we got anything with defense? That one's really good, the grilled mushrooms. Uh, 
Let's go with the onion soup, though, because that's going to be a good amount of max health, a good amount of healing, all that jazz. And the thing is, the higher our max health, because healing is based on percentage from food, the higher our max health, the higher the healing we get for each bit of food we eat. So it seems kind of worthwhile to boost your max HP as soon as possible. Okay, that guy still baffles me at how he works. Right. So let him fire it. Okay, get out of the way. Got him. He didn't even drop any gold. Oh my god, the spikes everywhere. Okay, we got him. <gasps> Blue chest. Yes. We got Charm of Madness. Hmm. Spooky. 20% uh, power, minus 10% max HP, plus 7 max HP. Okay, very, very strange, but all in all, that's pretty good. The extra power is going to be very good. I believe power just correlates straight to damage. Yeah. Um, power increases your damage base attack of your weapons. Yeah. So I thought so. I was pretty sure that's what it did, but it's, it's good to get confirmation of that. Health's still a little low. We can probably eat again before we go down to the next floor. Our saturation's getting lower and lower. Okay, good, good. Can you not, sir? I can't hit you while you're up there. Oh, I can, actually. I can. Good. Oh, big boy. Big boy. Good, good, good. I'm going to let him do his fireballs one more time. And go in for the kill. I'm getting better at these guys now, definitely. That's nice. And we're getting more and more money. Where have we been? Okay. Head through this way. What the hell's this room? Okay, this seems to be some sort of trap room. Okay, yeah, it's definitely a trap room. I do not want to be hit by that fireball. I do not know if we can be set on fire, but I don't want to find out. Of course, I immediately get hit by the fireball because I assumed that as soon as the room was finished, it would stop firing. But no, that is not the case. Hey, Croc. Oh, Twin Swords of Madness. Okay, something I do want to just check out. If we open our item list and go to sets, there is a set, and that's the Bloodstone one. Um, there's a set of madness somewhere. Okay, we need three items for the madness set. So we could get two of them, but that actually, no. I say we could get two of them. We could not because that costs so much money. <laughs> so, so much money. Right. Ooh, whoa, whoa, okay. We got something here. <gasps> it's my baby. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Give me that thing. Right, let's go back in here and uh, sell some stuff, shall we? Shop. Let's sell that. And sell that. Oh, this item cannot be sold. Fair enough. Okay, that's 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 very useful though, getting the Salamander's eye back. Oh, that's that's some that's some hefty hits. These dogs need to need to calm themselves. <gasps> Health. Can we eat some more food now? I think we can. What you got for us this time? Let's go with this. Yep, some HP. And that's actually a pretty good amount of crit chance and damage and all that jazz. Anywhere else we can go? Okay, we got just this area here. This is the boss room anyways, but we'll we'll head our way down this way. And just see what's, what the his apps are. It seems we can set enemies on fire with us as well. Like that enemy just died to fire. Okay. Excuse me, sir. I did not invite you to hit me. Oh, that was a bad combination of enemies. Oh, my God. Right, um, that was a bit spooky. Wow. Oh, my God, that room was easy. Oh, we got some HP as well. Yes. Okay, we got a much better chance at the boss this time. But when I say better, I mean we have the most mediocre of chances there ever was. Because I do think we're going to die again here. Hello, boss. We do have a weapon that's better. I should have reloaded before we got in here. Definitely. Okay, I can, I can kind of, I can kind of dig that. 
Oh, I cannot dig that. W what the fuck? Oh my god. We're on we've almost got him. We got him! No way! Okay, that's probably due to our charm of madness and the salamander's eye being ridiculously good. But we got him for the first time. That's really nice to see. I think we get 80 healing every time here. Yeah, 80 healing. Very nice. And we also got a big boy chest, which has a hand crossbow, and we got a new item unlock as well. Right, let's see what the hand crossbow is all about, because we've not used a gun yet, so I assume it functions like a gun. 10 power, right. It seems to be a one-handed, which is nice. Um, its damage is way lower, and the Salamander's Eye has burn damage, so we'll, we'll, we'll see what it's like. Ugh. It doesn't need to reload, and it fires much faster, though, so probably a pretty good weapon for us. And we're kind of going with more of a range build here. Which, honestly, as a first-timer, range builds seem amazing. <laughs> oh, hello. I just spawned on top of this guy. What are you doing? Okay, this is immediately much harder. Ah, ah. There's spikes under there. It seems the Salamander's Tail is by far the better weapon, though, here. Right, gotta be careful, because there are spikes down here. Need my illegal bullion. Make sure to reload before we head into places as well. But as you can see, our gold has gone up tremendously. Oh my god, now we've got the matchlock gun as well. All sorts of weaponry here. Uh, this one is much, much stronger. In fact, this might be our new gun, but it does seem to have a one-shot reload me mechanic. Oh yeah, that's that's very difficult to use. What the hell is this guy? Oh my god, I did not expect that. <laughs> that's what that guy is. He's a big boy. Okay, these dogs are not too smart. I'm going to leave you to burn. But the, they also run very rapidly, and it's, it's very confusing. Apparently the burn damage wasn't quite enough to kill that guy. Sad times. Uh, right, where have we been? Where are we going? Are we in this room here? Oh, we are, yeah. Okay, it flashes it flashes blue, the room that you're in. I did not notice that before. Hey, got food shop early on. Perfect time for a cold beer, indeed. But you're not selling any beer, so you've lied to me. Mmm, that one's very tasty. Uh, a deluxe burger. So we can get a, quite a bit of defense and max HP and stuff, so... Um, yeah, let's go with that one. The defense is too, is too good. Thank you. Deluxe burger for me. Very happy with that. Health is looking a bit more on. Oh my god, this room's so... What the hell? There's so much going on. There's so much going on. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I took so much damage so quickly. I evaded that one. Thank god. What the hell? <laughs> Immediate panic. Immediate panic. So that's where I'm seeing that um, close range weapons would be really good. Also, I'm, I'm seeing now that there's a... A bull in the middle of the room. <gasps> ah, ah, he stuns you. Stunned can not doing anything. I did not know he stunned you. That's news to me. So I've just lost quite a considerable amount of HP, mainly all of the HP I just purchased. But Croc's here. Maybe Croc can give us some tips. Um, recover HP each time 10 enemies are killed. That's expensive, though. I don't think it's worth going for that. I'm actually just going to get rid of all of these, because I just don't need them. Like... Oh, okay, so this guy creates spikes on us, which is not very nice. Okay, I'm going to die here. Oh, no, I got him, I got him. As long as this guy can't shoot through the floor, we're fine. Yeah, we're cool, we're cool. Can't, we can go inside here? What the hell? Okay, we do have a limited range here that's... Kind of limiting us. This guy is a real pain in the ass. But my god, the difficulty does step up quite a bit as we get down to that floor. Wow. Wowee. Um, we did really well there. How much gold are we taking down with us? All the way up to level 10. Lovely. Um, 2,700. It seems to limit the amount of gold you can take back. It's not, it's not like... Um, Undermine where it's a percent like a gold integrity thing. It seems to just let you take a certain amount and that's it. So do we have anything more we can craft here? Build. You can purchase items for going into the dungeon. Okay, that seems very useful. I'll definitely put money to good use as well. 
You built the store. It's just the way I imagined it would be. I'll give you a special discount. Come often. Okay. So now we unlocked a whole hell of a lot of new items. Very, very nice. And now we have a shop that we can use in order to purchase items before heading down in. I have a ton of great items. Okay, so actually this is pretty good, and they're, they're, they're relatively cheap as well, so we can go down with that, that matchlock gun or a steel mace. Just a little bit of an edge on the competition um, to start out with, and I'm assuming we can maybe get upgrades for her so that she sells rarer and rarer items. I'm not 100% sure about that, uh, but it would make sense that higher cost rarer items. We have another trainee here. And we also have a few more points to put in, so let's just straight up go for for more of this and get to five there. Because now, now that means we're gaining more money. Uh, the evasion and critical chance are very nice, by the way. But we're gaining more money and gaining cheaper shops, so that's going to be really good. Cooldown items, I don't really care too much about that. I care a lot about this, though. When slain, allows the adventure to take back a, a one item. Basically, if we get a really good item, we can keep using it. Very, very powerful. This increase max that these two are pretty good. Um, the the uh, one more accessory slot is is pretty damn powerful. So I'm, I'm I'm thinking about going for that, and that seems really nice too, allowing us to eat more food. But also some of these ones seem really good too. So the last one and this one deal more damage while below six percent HP with with an extra dash. Invincible for uh, basically we get iframes when dashing. This seems really powerful. And um, while HP is below thirty percent HP, get HP regeneration increased defense. Ooh, that seems really good too. Okay, so all of the capstones of each of these seem really powerful. Uh, it does seem that I'm probably gonna want to go for greed more than anything else because food is really useful and an accessory slot is gonna be very very strong. But I think this is going to be a good stopping point for this episode. Um, this is a nice little introduction into Dungreed. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. And I hope you guys like the idea of roguelite roulette. It is going to mean that episodes of things like Dungreed and the the episode, uh, sorry, the games that are in this series are going to come less often than my regular series. You're only going to get them once a week. But it at least adds a little bit of variety and something to look forward to on the weekend for you guys. For me as well. Um... And I get to play a few more games and experience new things. And as soon as a new game comes along that we're really, like, wanting to look at, like, there's one called Curse of the Dead Gods coming out very soon. It's coming out in March that looks amazing, so I'm definitely going to play that. Um, and we can just keep some series going as long as we want. So some people might really, really like Dungreed, and so we keep this series going for a really long time, months and months and months, and we keep playing it. And some of the other series we switch out more often, because basically the way I'm thinking of doing it is having like a poll on my Discord, or maybe even in the YouTube, uh, like you can make polls on YouTube as well, where I ask you guys which game you think we should trade out for the new game, and you guys can tell me which games you're enjoying the most. So please make sure to uh, join the Discord if you haven't already to get involved with that. And also make sure to leave comments letting me know how you like this series and this idea um, and this game as well because I really want to keep doing this and I'm, I'm really hoping that you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.